Miriam Sulemankel is not a typical candidate, but she sees her mix of American upbringing and Afghan family traditions as an advantage in a modern Afghanistan that's looking for change. The Kuchi elders are standing behind me, and every time I sit with them, they tell me that the men weren't able to bring these changes, but we have faith that women are. Women are able to uh, feel our pain and see the, the corruption and see what's wrong. She takes us along on her campaign trail to Jalalabad. Here she meets with the local leader of her tribe, the Kuchi. They are nomads for whom a certain number of seats in parliament are reserved. As a Kuchi, Sokolankel has a good chance of being elected. The tribal elders are dissatisfied with the male opponents, who they see as only looking after their own personal interests. In contrast, Solomenko listens. The Kuchis are often discriminated against in Afghanistan and have little opportunities to advance socially. The ones who don't have schools, they don't have water, they don't have roads. On one hand, they're being killed by the Taliban and used as shields, and on the other hand, the government accuses them of being Taliban. So they're stuck in between two, um, two rocks. Jalalabad lies in the east of Afghanistan, where the Taliban still stage attacks. When Miriam Salamankal is here, she brings a bodyguard with her. She's already received many threats. If I said I wasn't afraid, I'd be lying. I am afraid, but I'm more afraid for these people who are coming and visiting me. So Lamankel voices her support for the direct peace talks currently being negotiated between the U.S. and the radical Islamists, even if the talks could lead to the Taliban partially coming to power in Afghanistan. I think that now that women are included in the peace process, it's really uh, a big step. But at the same time, I think that the Taliban, from what I hear, um, realize that women and inclusivity in the government is really important for Afghanistan in the future. And even if she doesn't win the election, Solomankel wants to stay in Afghanistan instead of returning to the U.S. She says regardless of the outcome, there's much work yet to be done.